brother and I found this disgusting abandoned base in the middle of the ocean and thought it would be perfect to turn into a beautiful tropical island resort. I got my tools and I'm gonna get to digging. Good idea, you flatten it out. So I got a really interesting idea here today that I'm gonna try and that involves hiring players to work for us. So guys, we just hired our very first player for $100,000. I'm not even gonna instruct him. I mean, in order to become the richest, what I'd like to do is make this our best base ever. I'm gonna start building some palm trees down here, Zach. I'm just gonna set the vibe for this guy. And he's actually building his own palm trees over there. This is pretty exciting. All right, there's a large amount of like grass and dirt on the island too. So I'm actually going through right now and removing all of that. I mean, we kind of want this to have like a tropical beach feel and the random little grass blocks everywhere are just ruining the vibe for me. I'm gonna leave this base for now. But what I wanna make sure we do is we create a beach around the entire outside edge. I placed a total of five stacks of sand and I've still got just a few blocks left. We're going for our six stack of sand now. All right, I got these beacons for my daily login reward. So I'm actually just gonna place one down right now so that we get a little bit of a building or a speed boost as we're playing here today. You can see the beach now has a really nice sandy ring around it. Uh, take a look at this. Absolutely terraform the crap out of this place. I think it looks great now. You might be right, Zach, but I think we need to get another player in here, don't you? Yeah, let's go ahead and hire someone else. Oh yeah, Zach, that person looks like a great builder. Yeah, yeah. Look at this guy. Guys, he's making a volleyball net, first of all. And he put a bunch of tropical fish in the tank right here. They're actually making a little boat dock too. These two guys are killing it right now. Yeah, I know. I almost feel like we just need more and more people. Like I'm just watching them, but like, I don't know. We might as well. Let's bring in two. You bring in one, I'll bring in one. So guys, we just hired two new players. Zach, these people could grief us at any moment, but you know what? I just trust them. That is also true. All right, let's get back to it, Isaac. What I'd like to do now is work on building a massive boat dock station that's gonna come right into this area here. I'm gonna break out the sand. I'm gonna open this up and bring it right into the ocean. Oh, okay. Looks like Kurt D is out here helping. I think I'm going to use spruce wood on this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to extend the floor out like this. So that way you can boat onto a very nice looking floor instead of seeing like a giant cliff to like doomsday down there. On the other side of the island, I feel like this needs to be the cleaner area of the resort. So we are going to put the luxury pool on this side of the island and I am gonna to get to working on that right now. That is a boat dock, but I wanna make it too wide, which means we actually have to like destroy the rest of this wall over here, which is kind of annoying. So we're gonna to need to leave another gap, probably too wide. Basically the entire corner of the island is getting ripped off here. I didn't know it would be that big. All right, I want the entire pool to be outlined in sandstone. So I'm actually going through right now and breaking all of the sand that was there and replacing Placing it. Then I'm gonna take these sandstone slabs like I've done already and outline the pool because I think it adds a nice little depth to the pool. And then we'll add hot tubs around the perimeter. Yeah, so it's gonna look like this. This is where it's gonna come out for the next one. About to show these guys how you make a boat dock. Onward with the floor. Let's get this thing knocked out. Now this is the actual size of our dock. You're gonna be able to park literally like an immense number of boats here and have the most lit parties you've ever seen in Minecraft. So what are these guys working on, bro? This is crazy. Should we hire more? I don't know. It's so hard. To, I feel like half these people aren't doing anything to be honest. Actually. Like I got two down here that have been staring at me build this dock for a hot minute here. We didn't even hire these people. Like who are they even? Oh, they are just watching. Should we hire them? Y'all wanna work? Isaac, what I wanna do is actually create like a retaining wall around this somehow. I'm thinking like polished andesite and stone cobblestone. Oh yeah, that could work. I'm going to bring this all the way around this. So my idea is something like this where they're able to drive in then they got to steer around and go park and this like retaining wall on the edge makes it a little bit safer. Then I can bring it up one with maybe some sort of like polished andesite, kind of a weird block. You don't see this one too often. I don't think it's great yet because it doesn't go all the way down. So let's go ahead and deal with that now. All right, check it out. So this is a much better, well-secured area to park your boats in. And it only took me like 45 minutes to build this. All right, I'm adding on to the swimming pool right now, guys. I have just built a little accessory hot tub out here. And then up here, guys, of course, hot tub. We need to get some lava blocks or magma blocks underneath there to make it really evident that that's what that is. I need to go see what else has been built around here because we've never been able, we've never done anything like this. Like I've, I've spent half a million dollars or more hiring people. And um, I don't know if it's been worth it yet. This, this is not gonna sell for a lot of money right now. Like this guy even made a stand himself as a bartender it's a very tall bar as well i mean you can't even like you gotta like you'll be eight foot tall to get up in there Isaac, i was just thinking what what do you think about a double wide highway right through here man what kind of high what kind of resorts are you going to that have highways okay well we need a big building i feel like and maybe you should start that and then get some people to help you yeah let me think let me think purple and light blue terracotta two blocks i've never really used before in minecraft but i feel like as far as this goes there's too much sand i feel like we need to make this feel more like a pool so check this out what i'm gonna do here is crazy but i want you guys to trust me here because if i break the outer 
outer ring of this and I surround it with white. That then makes it look a little bit more like an actual pool. And then instead of having all the sandstone everywhere, we replace that with like some sort of pattern in the ground because most of the time you go to resorts, it doesn't look like that. I personally hate the way this fountain looks over here. I just think the cobblestone just isn't the theme that we're going for. So I'm actually just going to tear this bad boy out. Okay, so we've got a ring of white. Now we've got a little hot tub here. And I think what would be interesting is actually to connect it to the hot tub in some way. All right, all right. A little bit of a connection point here to the hot tub. There we go. That's a little bit more dynamic. So now your hot tub flows right into your pool and creates this interesting area where you can actually swim up right into the tub. Now let's try to get the edge here, the whole sandy side that I don't love. Let's see what we can do. All right, and we have completely torn out the fountain now. I feel like it already looks a lot better without that here. And we can put something new right here. And this is pretty prime real estate, I feel like, because it's on the high point of the island. I feel like if we could get somebody to build a lighthouse right here, that would be a very good feature. I'm going to go try to recruit somebody to do that. The last few episodes, y'all have said Isaac carried us. And so my goal today is be the one that carries us. I feel like by going to all of Isaac's builds and significantly upgrading them, there's no way y'all the comments won't say, Zach, you carried this build today. That's all I care about, all right? So now let's see if we can get this to actually look decent. The idea here is a checkerboard pattern utilizing these colors. I'm sick, to be honest with you. Um, What is happening in the pool right now, Zach? I leave for like five minutes, I come back, and it is now, it looks like a cruise ship. It's amazing. They're making a flamingo in the center. That's a flamingo. That's what you're calling that? Well, I didn't make that. I think we really have done a lot of small things here today, but none of the stuff we actually need. I feel like we've done what we need. The only thing we really need now is just a big building. I think we need a few big buildings. We got a lighthouse over here, some games down here. We don't even have a resort built yet. Like, I mean, as far as it goes, like I'm a little bit worried. We have so much stuff disconnected, disjointed, and just not looking great together. But what's the plan here, Zach? I don't even think we have enough room at this point for a big building. So where are we going to put it? I mean, to me, it's got to go around the pools. I was thinking that too, but where? Do we put it behind the beds over here? Just Yeah, like I think you do. I think that's what the move is. Like, I feel like most of our workers are gone at this point. How many people did we hire? We still have all of them, but it's because the base is so large now. We got people building on every single corner. I think we do need more. All right, guys, two more hires. Let's get back to it. I'm going to get this path moving. Now, this is apparently an axolotl pond, but I like the idea of making some like mega connector. So if the pond were to extend and this were to change colors, let's try that first. Then we could do the almost exact same thing over here and have it extend out like this and this, and then bring it all the way over to that one and connect it through a path right in the center, just like this. So we're going to see if this ends up looking cool or weird. And now the hot tub has a walkway in the water, which you can now walk across the entire resort with. All right, y'all know what time it is. Let's spend some money and get this terracotta placed. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely incredible. This guy just built an entire lighthouse in like five seconds. We gotta tell him good work. The hotel is coming along now. You basically walk out right into the swimming pool. We got five people building this hotel. I mean, it's ridiculous. But the question is, do you think like they're gonna destroy it? You know what? I trust these guys today. They may have like an entire hotel when we get back on so that's worth the risk Guys, it's been 24 hours since I've seen my base and we've left these people we hired with basically no moderation. So this base could be destroyed. It's not, it's still here. Guys, these people we didn't even know could have literally ruined this because I haven't even paid them yet. Isaac, we look at what they did. Oh my gosh, there's a whale. What is this thing? Oh wait, this is a slide. Yeah, the shark. I know we got to ride that bad boy. So Isaac, let's go ahead and break out the work here. I'm going to work on flipping this base over here. What are you going to work on? I think more shacks maybe around the beach area and then maybe just general cleanup. All right, let's do it. All right, so I am down here at the beach right now and i actually feel like it has a very good vibe to it i mean they have really detailed this place out i love that they added a little boat out there but i am just going to go through here and add some more and more plants the inside to me should be some sort of tropical wood maybe a spruce i mean it's not really tropical maybe jungle oh my god what the heck did i just discover underneath this what is this bro they made a secret torture dungeon what the heck i don't think they expected me to discover that actually i thought that i mean what are you gonna do, man? When they make a torture dungeon, you leave it. You maybe upgrade it too. All right, there is our first little mini palm tree right here. I don't know if we should put one in the middle. We'll go ahead and test that to see if it looks a little bit better. Oh yeah, I think I like that a little bit more. Okay, so that is going to be the design for the little palm tree. Adding a little bit more of those into here will really green it up. I would say the best block here is probably gonna be maybe jungle. And it actually matches the staircase we've already got in here. Let's get some full-on jungle logs here. And let's try something like this because I have an interesting idea. So we're going to have two giant pillars right in the front that perfectly get that heart in the center. So what if we, instead of closing this all the way, we put some fences here and these fences came all the way down. And then this makes kind of an open, airy, beautiful, little fun feeling area. So there's your entrance. And I think that looks pretty interesting. You've got this like nice little kind of like jungly feeling. I haven't even seen the upstairs of this yet. So let's see. It's got a nice little railing. You walk right on up. Very windy. 
and then you're faced with essentially a restrooms. The upstairs isn't even finished. So let's go ahead and finish that with a little bit of a seat. I think I'm just going to open up most of this. I really don't like having so many walls everywhere. Something like that. It just feels a little more fun. Ooh, as I get closer to the hotel, guys, the jungle leaves change to a much better color. I guess we get out of a different biome. Oh, and there's a mega sand castle here. Oh, a hole. We got to go down here and find out what this is, guys. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how this came out, except for this area right here. See, I think that looks better. You got so many windows now in here. This looks amazing. See, you've got a view of the entire beach here. Why would you not want a giant window here to be able to view that in the stairwell? All right, all in all, I would say we significantly added quite a few things. Did we upgrade it? I don't know. But I'm gonna take a break from this one and start working on some other builds. Hold for whatever you want. Oh my gosh, look at this. Somebody made a giant room down here. I mean, this is definitely going to be used by us. What are you working on? I found a new addition that you missed earlier. Whoa. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and work on adding chests in here that are cleaning this up. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on the outside beach. I just feel like every beach has some beach towels. That's how you know it's a good beach to hang out at. All right, so I took them and put them sideways because I think that fits better because it's perfectly even with the staircase here. I think it'd be fun too if it connected somewhere else to the base. So what I'm gonna do is actually just dig a random door here and uh, we're just gonna go in a straight line and kind of see where this takes us. Better label it for them so they know. It's obviously too dark here when you got skeletons spawning. So I still need to get on torch game here and get that cleaned up. The torches actually are cool. They're so simple, but the little details they add everywhere just makes it feel so nice. Now, I do like this little area right here, but I feel like because it's the staircase down, I need to clean it up a little bit. So I'm actually gonna straighten this out and then make all this area sand. But at the same time, we need to have it a little bit cleaned up so that our guests know where to go. Like where's on limits and where's off limits. You know what I mean? Okay guys, so Isaac and I just spent about 45 minutes just doing some minor tweaks. We added some sand to the base on the edge, which is where I'm going to start working soon. And then I also did some small things like adding some paths in areas like this, just because it makes it a little easier to navigate the island. And this is going to take you right on over to our newest addition in our beach base. And the newest addition, of course, is going to be a very beautiful area to sit, eat, and enjoy your meals. Probably one of the most beautiful things we built yet. We could do one large table. We could have it center here. Then going around the edge with staircases, that might actually look a little better. Bring out the oak fence in the middle. So here's the new design. We've got a uh, wooden log seat, two regular seats, and then on this side, we'll do another wooden log seat. That way, it kind of has this nice little dynamic flavor to it. We're gonna go ahead and add a uh, tent to the top of this. I actually don't love that, to be honest. I think it looks pretty tacky, but uh, maybe if I get in there with a couple of um, trap doors, it looks a little better. I like that. Now it actually feels like an umbrella somehow, a little bit. One week later. All right, guys, so this is our island. After about a week, we let our team add is anything they wanted to. They turned this into an amazing little pool area. Zach, did you not see this thing over here by the harbor. Oh, ho, ho. they even made this whole thing change color, Isaac, the whole way up. And they added fake clouds. It is so good here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to allow these guys to stay on this claim. They're going to be able to open up their own businesses here. And we're going to sell and make money by players who warp here to visit the island. Hold on. We need to talk pricing because this is basically like Atlantis in real life, Zach. What, what's your thought? 25K? 50? I'm thinking 25,000 to visit the island would be perfect. So guys, this is the player warp. This is where players will pay us $25,000 to visit the island and be able to shop here. So we'll put this as a shop as the category. We call it the world's best resort as our description. It's active. Guys, we're actually getting people buying it for 25K a piece. Look at my money. Oh my gosh, a lot of people are here right now, Zach. What the heck, dude? How did that guy get a football thing? Dang. Dude, this is the most lit Minecraft party I've ever been a part of. Look at this. I didn't know we throwing a pool party today. My money is racking up by the second. This is crazy. We got go horns. We got live music. We got freaking dude with giant antlers. I just paid Isaac half a million dollars because Isaac paid five people the 100K they did for the island. We have two left to pay, but they're offline, so we can't. Make sure you play play.loverfella.com. I will be on right when this video ends. So come say hi to me. Give me to sign your items. Who knows? Peace.